Jeff here with Epp Foundation Repair, and today we're going to talk about how to support floor joists in a crawl space. So first, let's discuss what types of foundations are there. There's usually three different types of foundations, and I've drawn them out here up on a board. So the first one is usually just a slab on grade. This is usually a concrete floor right here, and these are footings. A lot of times we see they'll be poured together, which is called monolithic. They pour the floor and the footings together. They don't always do it that way. We do see that a decent amount, especially on older homes. Newer homes that are slab on grade usually are done. And sometimes we'll see a block here poured on top of a footing. But a lot of times, you know, it's a footing, maybe a block, maybe it's poured up and then, a, and then just a floor. Your house is sitting. Basically, there's nothing underneath your home's uh, main level floor. Then there's a basement. Everybody knows kind of what a basement is. You go down a set of stairs or, you know, got enough headroom to walk around. Maybe you've got some bedrooms down there, some living area down there. Typically, you're going to see a basement. Is it anywhere between 6 foot to 10 foot tall? That's a typical basement. What we're talking about today is called a crawl space. A crawl space is, it's like a mini basement. So imagine a mini basement. That's the best um, way to, to kind of describe it. Usually they're between 12 inches and 48 inches deep. A lot of times the most typical crawl space in our area here in the Midwest that we see is around 24 inches to 36 inches deep. So there's enough room to get into, which is nice. A lot of people like that because you can store things under there. And you can get underneath there. You can access it from underneath for pipes and wires and whatnot. So why do floor joists sag? Maybe they were, uh, maybe it's old. Maybe it's rotted wood. You know, so these, there's going to be floor joists that go across here. Imagine this. And these floor joists right here are going to be holding, you know, sorry about my drawing there. But they're going to be holding you up, okay? And so sometimes what we see is we'll see this wood will just start rotting. And then it'll start kind of getting a smiley face in it. It'll start sagging. Maybe, and a lot of times there'll be, you know, footings underneath here with, maybe it's a support post. Maybe they use concrete blocks or concrete bricks. We do see that a lot where we see concrete blocks holding it up. Maybe they've just deteriorated over time. Or maybe this footing right here has just failed. You just need a new footing or maybe it needs a some sort of a support like a pier or a helical or something like that underneath it. So uh, a lot of times crawl spaces are damp and musty. A lot of odor and a lot of smells can come from crawl spaces. We highly encourage getting them encapsulated with a vapor barrier type product. The number one way that we usually fix here at EP is with jack posts. We'll come in and we'll pour a new footing right here every how or how or often a lot atypical is every six foot on center and then we will put a new jack post in and it's a screw jack so it's adjustable so we can adjust that and put it where it needs to be and then over time if the something does move or if the the wood does have a little bit of memory or whatnot we can adjust that or you the homeowner can adjust that and then we can put it back where it needs to be I'm out here with Dustin and I wanted to show everyone exactly kind of what does a crawl space jack look like. So Dustin's got one here. This is this is what sits on the bottom uh, where the footing might be. It might be a rock footing, might be a concrete footing. And then we use this pipe here that Dustin's grabbing and we'll cut that to length. And then that pipe will sit in there like this. And then this these two go on the top. So. You can see that this is adjustable. We can adjust this and screw this to the height that we need. So that then, sorry, it's so high. And it goes on the top there like that. And then this sits underneath the floor joist. So that's just a quick rundown of what it's going to look like in your basement. So as you can see, this can be adjusted over time if something moves or changes, or if we just want to slowly bring those floors back up if the wood has memory. So. There is a, a permanent fix for those. We, we fix a lot of crawl space, a lot of uh, sagging uh, floor joists and crawl space. So 
that is our atypical fix around here, especially in the Midwest, you'll see that a lot, is, is you'll go in and you'll do what we call a crawl space jack. So I hope that helped you out, understand a little bit why, uh, how to fix a crawl space and that they are fixable, you don't have to live with them. So again, this is Dave Epp with Epp Foundation Repair and I hope that information was helpful to you.